I'm going to talk about a few things that we went through today in training. It's like countering wrestling, in my opinion, with jiu-jitsu, and then just good sweeps and back takes. I'm going to explain a couple things, okay? So when we get to this position where we have our opponent's head trapped and I get underneath his arm, happens off a of failed guillotine a lot, this arm can be over here. If I grab this guy, bridge and try and turn him over, he can do one of a couple things. He can he can uh, hold my leg like he's still doing a double leg or whatnot, but then eventually he's gonna just just spin through, buddy. Just spin through, come on top. Yeah, man, he's gonna come on top and I could lose that because I have no control of him, okay? So the other thing that we wanna do when we're on top is un understand this position. He goes ahead and he starts to put me in that position. He turns me over. I'm trying to hold this double leg as much as I can with good shoulder pressure. I'm holding his elbow. Then I'm gonna switch this at one point. I'm gonna go from this, this elbow with this hand to my right hand over here and this arm goes underneath the neck. I roll over him and I get a good darce. So there's a, there's, a, there's a couple good things. One is obviously the turnover with that 100%, that, that move where you crank him over called the 100%. That, that uh, is, a, is a very strong turnover position, but there's a lot of options. There's many parts of this series, okay? He gets to here when we turn me over. Defensively, I try and, try and block his legs, try and continue his double leg as long as possible, grabbing his elbow, switching the elbow, grabbing the back of the head, rotating over, and finishing in a darce. Now, to change that, what I want you to understand is this concept, okay? So if I'm in this position here, if I now grab his elbow and push it this way, when I bridge and turn him over, he'll try and turn into me, but you notice his arm gets turked. Turk, right? The rest of the wrestlers call this a turk, not allowing him to turn in. So I'm turking him here. We have all kinds of options. That really turn over, buddy. Turn over, right? He, he can't. So I'm able to like eventually take his back, right? I can land in him. His arm's reaching over. I put him in a crucifix. I can actually hit the out a little bit, put him in a triangle crucifix. Right, so there's several different ways that I could land there. Let's do that one more time. So I'm over the head, and I'm like this, and I block that elbow. I bridge, and he turns over, he tries to turn into me. He also can't relocate his arm into the darst choke position. Okay? Now, a lot of the times, I want you to be patient here, he's gonna bridge in real hard, and then there's gonna be a moment right there where he hips his, his leg back over. So turn over again, Brad. Hard to get my hooks in here. Better to just wait right to there. Now I can take his back. Make sure that you grab his wrist, up here at his palm, sorry, not his wrist, at his palm, and then underneath his neck. Okay, same thing happens when we're here. He's up against the wall, I'm over his head. Now he can spin through like you want to go ahead, if I hold this position and rotate through, no, 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 not double. Just, just let this arm, yeah, he'll spin through, he can come back, I can get struck, he can counter wrestle, he can spin through now, he'll spin through happy. I can literally standing hook, or I can have the fake to drop. What I mean by that is this. I can be here, and I can swing my leg out, and go to my back. Oops. Turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in. Not gonna happen, All right? You can also come up, take the back all kinds of different ways. All right? Happens out in the free mat with the exact same thing. He shoots in, his head's on, gotta be on the outside, my arm's on the side, his head is. So it's like, I lock that shot that way. He tries to turn in, boop. So we're drilling that, right? And then my man Johnny Bedford takes over and says, watch this, go. <laughs> he was just in his position. We're in safe position. We go over the head, 100%, right? I sacrifice, throw a good, can't turn in, has to turn in. And my, my thought was I can never get the crucifix. He keeps trying to turn in, turn in. It always leads back to the back for me. Anytime I get the back, especially with my hand on one side, my mind automatically goes Walsh choke. So as I force him to take his back, now I use my right hook and I use my right elbow when I get him back to his other side. And as he starts building his base and wanting to fight here, he leaves his hands and this is where I make my connection. I leave this grip right through the bicep, connecting my left hand to that part, and I sit up and I choke. Can you do that? Open that space? Yes. We'll see it better. Again, same position, guillotine side. Right, I control his elbow. Sit back, take the throw, he can turn it in. I can turn it back. Put my right hook in, he turn it in a little more. And yep, and as I turn him, take his back. I think right, he's gonna go, especially with me guys, he thinks that's his escape now. He's gonna come up, and I'm gonna just connect my hands. As I connect my hands, I can. Dang. 
everything. That was just us on the fly today, okay? Thank you. <laughs>